there's definitely signs of fear and anxiety and worry about their immediate environment. They are also worried about people dying around them, um, of them becoming sick themselves. They are possibly worried about medical treatment. Will they have to go to hospital? So I think their concerns center more on the practicalities around the coronavirus and how it is going to be dealt with should it happen to them. Dr. Dutoit says sometimes children do not have the vocabulary to express exactly how they feel and therefore adults need to be on the lookout for any changes in their normal behavior. So where you have a child that was able to do certain things, um, complete certain tasks, be alone, be able to look after themselves, generally happy, then that is possibly an indication that a child is okay. But where the normal routine starts to change and where children start displaying behavior that you wouldn't normally associate with the child, then that is normally an indication or that's generally an indication that a child is not coping too well. With the closing of schools, methods of learning and teaching have changed drastically. Some children relied on teachers and face-to-face -face lessons to understand their schoolwork. Now, parents have to assist with lessons while working from home. Activities like visiting friends and families are limited and strict social distancing protocols have become the norm. This proves to be challenging for growing children who often rely on a structured environment or a scheduled routine to function properly. Dr. Dutoit says coronavirus fears in children can be worsened by how adults are dealing with the effects of the pandemic at home. Exposure to social media, to things being said in the household, and what is also happening is that children are at an increased risk of incidents at the home itself where there may be interpersonal violence and all these things accumulate and eventually it has an impact on a child's ability to function. Dr. Dutoy says adults should make children understand why the strict regulations are in place without instilling fear. She is also advising parents to spend more time with their children.